Hello, Hello there. and uh, and welcome. In this video, I will okay. be demonstrating how to stretch and prime canvas. Uh, here I have uh, a roll of 12 ounce cotton duck. This is, um, canvas comes in different weights. So there's like an eight ounce, a 10 ounce, a 12 ounce. I prefer using a 12 ounce because it's a bit it's a heavier weight to the canvas and it's quite a bit thicker so that if you're using a lot of paint or I, I use a lot of oil paint when I do my paintings and I find it most helpful. Here I have a diagram of how you staple going from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and um, okay, I, I put that diagram again a little bit later on. So. Here I'm centering the canvas, and um, one. there you go, there's one. And you slowly just go all around and expand one, two, three, four, all the way out to the corners gradually. Three. I pull it just tight. I don't go uh, super tight. Um, some people really like it like a drum, I, I find. Uh, I'm pretty strong. I how you gauge it, how how tight it is is up to you. I pull both kind of left and right. What you're noticing that when I go into the corners there, I'm kind of pulling it both sides all at once. Here we are. Here's the diagram again. I just kind of show how you're going out into the corners slowly, and you just constantly keep going equally and alternating. I'm pulling both kind of uh, sides of the right angle so that you you stretch it outwards. You'll notice here, there I am, I, I tuck both sides and then that way you don't get the folds. And if you're going gently and gradually out to the corners, then you get a nice even um, stretch and it's just, that's, the best way to do it that I've ever seen. Folding the corners. So I work, I go both left and right. I tack it in place, one edge. And I go, I zoom in closely here for you because this tends to be uh, the, the part where people really want the most kind of help. You'll notice that I, right on the edge there, I fold it to be in line with the, with the corner and with the edge. I do that one first, and I kind of roll out, pull it, get it nice and tight, because you don't want those wrinkles. Staple it in place. One, two. Always. Here, I, I'll give you another close-up of it. So I get it nice and tight in the corner. Then I pull it like so a, a rabbit's ear down there. so that I'm right pull against it, the wood. And then I double it. fold it. I'm sorry my hands fold. are, uh, you can't see through them, but there you go. You can see how I double fold it. I've held it in place. There you go. Now you can see both angles. So there, nice edge right there. along the edge. You want to line it up so that you get your canvas folding right on the edge of the of the edge of the uh, where it transitions. Here, I fold it over again, and I kind of roll it and fold it underneath. Can't really see that well because my hands are in the way. I'll try to show it a little bit better. There it is. And then you kind of, you don't want the you don't want the canvas to double roll. So underneath you want it to be quite nice and neat. I'm having a little bit of difficulty with my staple gun, so I'll pull those out later and put it in even nicer. But you want your corners to be. There we go. You want your corners to be. You can see right there on the line. So when you hang your painting, it's nice and clean and. Here's the gesso from TriArt. We sell it in different sizes and quantities. 
I find TriArt really does make excellent products. So we, we carry just about everything that they manufacture. Um, great, great company, uh, great products. And uh, yeah, here we are um, just getting all the canvas. I added some water to this so it's, uh, it smooths out a bit. I add about 20% water to the large jug. And here I am just kind of spreading the gesso all around. Just kind of just spreading it out. I got a hair there, so I'll take the hair out. And just slowly uh, getting the paint all around. I take some of the extra so I can paint the edges. I paint the edges as I go. I find that's a it's a good way to go to to prime the edges of your canvas because that way if you're working with oil or something the oil doesn't have contact with the uh, the raw canvas and also when it's later on when you're you might wish to paint the edges of your canvas so that um, it just has a much cleaner finish to it. And sometimes people, art collectors, would rather spend their money on the painting versus the, um, on the framing. Here when I've, I go cross hatched and I do nice, easy, all the way from left to right. And then I will go again in a cross hatch. So I'm doing all nice and all nice and smooth and this is so that your painting is nice and calm and there's no movement so that the painting can really stand out and not be distracted anyways if you have any more questions please leave your comments also we have a art supply store and just about everything that you'd ever want. So live, love art, and uh, be creative and kind.